Hey guys, a lot of people are talking now about the new Hilti 22 volt Neuron battery system and 70 new tools, but do they have it all right? Our team recently was invited to the Hilti headquarters in Liechtenstein, and we previewed all of the new Hilti 22 volt Neuron battery lineup tools, all of the updated power tools. The new 22 volt Neuron battery platform combines higher capacity packs, updated electronics, durability upgrades, and battery packs, as well as brushless motors, to deliver a much more robust and durable cordless platform than they had. The new Neuron batteries have a few key features that are completely new concepts for Hilti. They include a re-engineered battery-to-tool interface in electronic design, as well as a completely re-engineered housing. These, combined with a tougher battery, better able to withstand daily weather and job site rigors, along with a battery upgrade, has basically allowed Hilti to upgrade to 70 power tools to take advantage of a larger capacity battery packs, including brushless motors. Way long overdue or overhaul. Hilti pr um, promises that these batteries will enable a step change in 22 volt cordless performance and power tool classes, previously only possible in higher voltage platforms, maybe gas or even electric powered, while still delivering more than double the power of their current 22 volt tools. So how do the batteries deliver more power? Well, it's really just some simple math. Using a basic water pipe analogy to help visualize it, you can either increase the size of the pipe, which would be current and amps, or the water pressure going through the pipe, which is voltage, right? The overall water power. Power of watts equals voltage, volts, and amps, times amps. As we've shown on, on other brands and in our head-to-head -head testing, every battery pack has a certain total amount of energy or potential power to do work. With tools that use a single voltage like Neuron, it's a very simple equation. If we look at that B22-255 battery, it's their high power example, we see that a fixed voltage of 22 volts or 21.6 volts nominal, the 255 is able to deliver 259 watt hours with a 12 amp hour pack. Compare this tool to a 60 volt, 54 volt nominal, or a two amp hour um, power that only produces 108 watt hours of energy. As you can see, the voltage isn't the end all be all, and, and it's a total power available to do the work. So if we look at the Neuron 255, our math would look something like 259 watt hours equals 221.6 volts times 12 amp hours which Hilti lists as 255 watt hour pack. Now, uh, if we look at the battery interface, um, they use a spring-based design to decouple the attachment prongs from the battery housing. And this means that the tool-based vibrations are no longer directly carried to the battery housing via the connection terminals. This produces less friction-based wear and tear on the connection points and will likely lead to less cracking or breaking connection point components. The new Hilti batteries also uh, use braided 12 gauge copper cables at the connection point, which will remain more flexible and less brittle than solid wire. And this is definitely an exciting design enhancement as we've seen failures and stress connection points on other brands, especially when we start dealing with these large capacity tools, a lot of vibration and impact loading. Now the electronic design the main improvement in the electronics was potted versus lacquered protected coatings on the internal circuit boards 
and the integrated chips. What does that mean? It means that the electronic components are set in epoxy style resin and that's basically going to improve dust, moisture and corro corrosion resistance. It also protects vibration based damage to in, um, internal components, electronic components such as transferring unintended vibrations from the battery housing instead of small and more fragile electronic components. This is a long overdue upgrade guys and many other brands have also incorporated this dramatic improvement to durability of their packs. Now the battery housing itself, um, they've introduced an integrated bumpers in an all glass fiber housing in a cell holder that completely surrounds the batteries. This offers excellent fall and impact protection to the lithium ion cells. The battery housing is also re-engineered to include less open space between the cells. Now at first we looked at this and we were, uh, seemed counterintuitive to cooling purposes, but Hilti engineers explained to us that the cell holder material in contact with the cells actually helps better control and slow down that whole heat build up during application. Now the battery, uh, let's talk about the spectrum of batteries with their wide range of battery pack and amp hours, users can select packs that basically gives you the sufficient energy that you need. Think about gas in the gas tank for the task. Higher voltage isn't the only way to get more work done. Hilti is making larger packs that allow much higher amp draws for high demand applications. So when you pair two of those 255 12 amp hour packs, you get a class of power output, especially when optimizing a higher output timeline that actually can be equated to corded tools, 110 voltage, 15 amps. And it can absolutely compare or compete with 3648 or 60 volt battery platforms, absolutely. And to make it easy, Hilti is releasing their new Neuron batteries in four different sizes. They have the B2255, which is a 2.6 amp hour pack, 55 watt hours. They have a uh, 65, which is a four amp hour pack, 85 watt hours. They have a 170, which is an eight hour pack, 170 watt hours. And the Monster battery, the 255 12 amp hour pack at 255 watt hours. Big question, backwards compatibility. Our first question we said, does Hilti work with the older tools? The answer is yes, maybe. It works if you have the new battery pack adapter. Hilti did not try this, try uh, and find, kind of, they wanted, I guess they wanted to try a middle ground and they said that they didn't want to limit a new design to fit an old one, but recognize that users are already invested, right? And wouldn't need or want to upgrade. That's bad business and we agreed. So most non-industrial based users, they're not gonna be able to afford upgrades. So the 22 volt neuron adapter does that for you, but it's gonna add three or four inches of extra bulk to the adapted tools. And it will be interesting to see how this pans out for them. Considering that this is still a 22 volt pack, the reasoning must be the electronics or I don't know, there must have been some other roadblock for the engineers, but clearly other manufacturers like Makita and Milwaukee have avoided this and likely to great cost to them, but certainly to benefit to us users. Um, there's also a battery status indicator and it's, it's kind of a savvy feature upgrade to the battery. The battery status indicator light now stays on throughout operation. And um, it'll stay on when you, when you disconnect or connect the battery. And so whenever you pull the trigger, the battery status is just loaded, it shines brightly green. This makes it super easy to maintain, you know, awareness of your current battery power without having to stop working and press a button. And if you wanna know the state of health of the battery, you do, uh, you hold the button down for three seconds. It'll show green or yellow uh, to show you current health, cell health of the battery. It's thoughtful, forward thinking, and something we really liked. The uh, data-driven services that Hilti built into the tools um, it, it's a, um, it's, it uses the tools, the batteries, and the chargers to provide better service to their users. Now, Neuron batteries have an internal memory card that can store information up to 12 different tools at a time. Plug it into all those different tools. When the batteries are then plugged into the charger, the data is automatically uploaded to the cloud via cellular networks without any setup. This allows users to make data-driven decisions based on site-specific tool use patterns. And they can use their Hilti OnTrack software. Um, they can track information by user, job site, or just leave it at a tool level, whatever they prefer. So, 
Final thoughts. The new Hilti Neuron battery platform and associated tools, it really is a welcome upgrade. In our regular head-to-head -head series, the testing that we do, Hilti has certainly been behind their competitors, in a large part due to slow incorporation to brushless motors. With a huge upgrade to their battery packs and electronics combined with brushless motors, users are now gonna see a dramatic, a drastic imp improvement in performance. Hilti also smartly incorporated that analytics in, into the tool usage to help project managers and business owners alike make smart decisions on the job site. Right tool for the job, right job site. The bottom line is Hilti users will see some great improvements in performance and durability with this new line, and we're excited to get our hands on these new tools and test them in the job site. I'm Rob Robillard. I hope you enjoyed this update on the new Hilti Neuron batteries and tools. Keep an eye out. We've got about five videos coming out on some of the different tools. And we'll see you again here at Toolbox Bus. Take care.